Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Jackson the Third versus Jackson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Mr. Jackson, you are suing the defendant because you claim that your 20-year marriage has been based on a complete fraud. Now, you state that it was not until one year into your marriage that Ms. Jackson told you that you may not be the biological father of James Jackson IV. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. And when today's DNA results are revealed, you demand that Ms. Jackson pay you $5,000 for emotional distress and finally sign the divorce papers. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Jackson, you admit to having sex with another man around the time your son was conceived, but you claim that you did not deceive Mr. Jackson in any way, nor did you force him to marry you. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Jackson, how has your marriage been based on a fraud, exactly? Well, Your Honor, I think I've been tricked, Your Honor. Um, she knew my past. And uh, she knew that once she told me that she was pregnant, that I wanted um, a father in my son's life, like I didn't have a father in my life. So once she told me, told me that, we got married in December of 95, a few months after she got pregnant. And come up a year into the marriage and I find out that he may not be my, my child, Your Honor. And so you stepped up to the plate and married her? Yes, ma'am, two months after she told me. You go to the doctor's appointments. You were there when James Jackson IV was born. Am I correct? Yes, ma'am. You obviously gave him your name. I gave him my name. He's the fourth. I, I, um... He signed the birth certificate? Signed the birth certificate. He cut the umbilical cord. He cut the umbilical cord. I was there helping with his homework. I uh, see. And so your involvement with this young man... Yes, ma'am. This handsome young man has been... Yes. You're his dad. Yes, I mean, graduation, I was there. You were there. Um... It's wrestling meets. It's wrestling meets. I, I was there. His band. I was there. So take me back up to this relationship. We, we actually we met in Job Corps. So we 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 both took nursing classes together. The first time we had we had sex was in the Greengrass Motel. What is that exactly? When we was in on the campus, we couldn't have sex in our dorms because it was separate dorm rooms. So we had to wait till nighttime to go out in the field. And, and have sex on the green grass hotel. Oh, you called that the grass? Oh, the grass. I got it. No, yes. I and got and it. actually, actually, the first time. Now, <laughs> he wanted a family, and uh, he was not really tricked, cause he went down to Kentucky to visit me. Okay, he lived in Georgia. He and... wanted to follow me to Kentucky, and so. Mr. Jackson, did you follow her to Kentucky? Did you want to have a family? With her, it, was, it wasn't a family thing at that time. We was just going together. And actually, I was just going to see my girlfriend that lives in Kentucky. So I were you in her. any other relationship before you became pregnant? Before you figured out you were pregnant, were you in another relationship? I had a boyfriend or a friend or hangout buddies that we'll go to the beach, we get drunk, we hang out, we, we party. I, 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 was, I was a little older than he is, but, uh, you know, I wasn't really looking for, for him so, to be in my life. This guy was looking like a nerve. I didn't think he was gonna amount to much. He had a pick on his hair, he had on matching clothes, he had tennis shoes on, and he always see by himself. He had a pick in his hair and matching clothes and tennis no shoes. No matching. Oh, they didn't match. No, so one day I just went on and talked to him. And, and so you ended up having a sexual relationship. Yeah. Did you use protect? <laughs> Did you use protect? Yes, ma'am. But see, Miss, me, Your Honor, we I think Mr. Jackson is the one that tricked me. He and I kind of uh, start hanging out, start play, being playful, and all that. And then we went in the shower, and one thing lead to another. But I didn't know. So <coughs> let me ask you something. Obviously you failed to use protection at some point or we wouldn't y be here. Your Honor, the only time that we did not use protection was one time, and I know it only takes one, but during that whole time, we're going out. Well, sometimes we'll go out and get drunk. We go to a hotel. One time, I can't, I, I, um, I see... Okay, uh, basically, I just needed to confirm that at some point, you had sex without using protection. Right? Yes. Once. I don't need all the details of the sexual okay. history. Okay. Um, what made you just decide to marry her instantly like that, within a couple of months? Well, when she told me she was pregnant, you know, that's, that's what I think the right thing to do because I didn't have a father in my life. I was gonna be a father in my, my son's life. 
So. And that's really the basis of your suit is that you feel like she did this all, it was all a fraud. Right, because... Uh, she manipulated and defrauded you. Right, because up until... No, actually, you know, now, I, I never knew that it was somebody else that could have been the father. I just, it, I just had doubts in the dates and time. You Let's know. talk about this doubt. Okay. The, the, when did the doubts begin to set in? The only time that, we, that she could have got pregnant was those three days out of August. Ooh, talk the, to me about those dates. Okay, August 95, 11, 12th, and 13th is the only three days she could have got pregnant. In August of 1995, it'd be the 11th, 12th, and 13th. That's correct. Okay, from that we got sex married. with Jackson. Okay. And my uh, son is born on June 8th, 1996. June 8th. All right, why are you doubtful about these Because it, in, in, unless he's not my son or you're looking at the only woman that's been pregnant 10 and a half months in history, you, the dates so just don't add up. The, from, from, from August 11th, 12th, and 13th to June 8th yeah, you don't is, know. is 10 and a half months. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So you feel like the dates are not adding up. You don't know. Because that means, in your mind, you cannot be the father because that's too many weeks. That's too many weeks, months, days, years. <laughs> Your Honor. Yeah, yes. Really, I think Mr. Jackson got upset because I told him we did the math and he thought he was gonna have his son being born around his birthday. His birthday June May, May the seventh. It actually so supposed to be born calendar, on May the seventh. What but, he's saying, Miss Jackson, is that if he counts back, it's over ten months time that you were pregnant, which we know. And Pregnancies are usually 40 weeks. And, Your Honor, excuse me, but they induced her labor, so that wasn't her due, the due date. They induced Your her Honor. labor. She made them take the baby. Two doctors and one midwife told me that that couldn't be the conception date, period. I don't the know. The dates you gave me, yeah. August 11th, 12th, and 13th, the, could not be the conception the date only for a dates. child born June the 8th. No, it can't be. That's so, what they told me. And, th and that's uh -huh. why you really began to doubt. Yes, Ms. Jackson, do you admit that there is a slight reason to doubt? What percentage do you... 80-20, 80, 80, Your Honor. It was just because... 80-20? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. 80% maybe the other guy kind of told and he's kind of light-skinned. Wait a minute. 80-20? Who's the 80? The, the, the other guy. But we use protection, Your Honor. <sighs> I was a little drunk. We were partying. We got up and... It was the next day, and we was out there at the beach, and then it was like, uh... Don't tell me anything please. else. I, I don't want to know anything else. This is the first else. time I'm hearing this, Yana. Except... <laughs> this is the very first time. I know now you're leading to the fact that you all had sex then. But we always use protection. Okay, but you 80% believe the other gentleman could be your son's father. Yeah, he kind of looked like, but... Uh... Did she ever say to you that this was not your son? Did she ever give you an, an, any indication? Did she say that? As we drinking again, Your Honor, she tells me in the hotel that I, I wasn't the father. Your... I possibly could be the father one time, and it kind of messed me up to the end. Your Honor? She said she never and did. And do you remember she... saying that? See, this is how it happened. Mr. Jackson and I telling you the whole thing. Mr. Jackson begged me to come get him out of jail court to go and get him out so that he could go in hotels with me. So that's when we would drink. It's not like I was an alcoholic and it was not like he was drinking all the Did time Did you ever either. tell him that but James Jackson IV was not his son? He got me drunk at the house and trying to get the truth out of me, Your Honor. So and, I... Yes, I was so did he get the it. truth out of you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but... So wait a minute. You said he got you drunk Yes, and tried to get the truth out of yes, you, and you told him that James Jackson IV was not his child. Yeah. It, is that it, the truth? He always tell that to his daughter, too, that the so boys don't So is that what you like believed, him. or were you saying what you believed he wanted to hear? He got me confused, Your Honor, because I was drunk. Okay. He got me drunk, so. I would like to hear from your son. <laughs> Mr. Jackson, this is a lot to hear. Um... Tell me your perspective. I mean, what, when you hear all of this, this is your dad. This is a man you've grown up with your whole life. Did you ever know that there was a doubt relating to your paternity? 
Um, Your Honor, this man before you has always been my dad. <laughs> He's been there through my graduations. He's been there through my wrestling meets, band, everything. Beautiful. And I can see, Mr. Jackson, this really hurts you. <laughs> Mr. Jackson, the fourth. Did you ever have any knowledge that there was a question relating to your paternity? It was one night, Your Honor. I was asleep. I overheard <laughs> them arguing. I climbed downstairs, you know, sneaking up on the argument, and I overheard that he possibly couldn't have been my father. I was five years old at the time. I really didn't pay no attention to it because he will always be there for me. So I would think it was just a petty thing to say during arguments, you know? He would be... Downstairs? Downstairs, and hit, my mom would be upstairs. And I would think it was just, you know, a little doghouse, you know, him, you know, get his punishment for, for the arguments or whatever. So you I know, really now. didn't think nothing of it, you know? I was a child then. But, but you weren't understanding that there were issues and right. they were having disagreements because they were talking about whether or not the man you believed to be your father was actually your biological father, that perhaps there was someone else. Um, other than that, it was no, there was no relative, no auntie, no uncle saying, that's not your father, no random man. Never had that? Me. Never had that. Did your dad ever give you any clue? Um, we would possibly sit down and, and briefly talk about it. Uh, for example, he would sit me down and, and say, uh, how long does a baby stays in the, in, the, in the womb? And I would say, nine months. He was like, well, it took you 11 or 10. And I would say, um, is, I, I, as he's older now. I, as <laughs> I'm older, as I'm older, as I can understand things more better. So I guess he was trying to prepare me. But it would be brief conversations, so I wouldn't be too heavily on the fact. So you feel like he was in his own way preparing you? In his own way, yes. So where do we go from here? What's at stake here? If, in fact, it's determined that this young man, Mr. Jackson IV, is determined not to be your biological child. You will divorce your wife. If he, if you... he's not m my son, or if he is my son biologically, we, I, we, we I'm still wanting to divorce. Your Honor, I, I have a okay. girlfriend that's wanting to get married. So wait a minute now. Your Honor, so sh you've been trying to get her to sign these divorce papers. We've, we've been doing this for, for ten, about ten years. What, Your Honor? We got married for life, okay? We got married. I have... Mr. Jackson and I had a conversation that he was going to get married in church, too, but he didn't marry me in church. So now Mr. Jackson understood that once we are married, we are married for life. I got married on a lie. Regardless. A, Whether a it's a lie. lie or not, we, are, we were married. We were living together. We were building our family. And so and, you do not have any intention of signing divorce papers? No, ma'am, because uh, if he wants to get divorced, he got to pay himself, but I'm not going to participate on that, taking care of his girlfriend. So he wants to marry her, go ahead and divorce. Okay, fine. That's fine, but I'm not putting a, put, paying a penny for it. But... Okay. <laughs> I think I've heard enough. He... I am ready for the results. Ah. Jerome. Yeah. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Jackson the third versus Jackson, Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. When it comes to 19-year-old James Jackson IV, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Jackson, you are his father. Right, 
Great news, right? Awesome news. Yeah. That's wonderful. You happy, Mr. Jackson? Oh, yes. <laughs> Perfect. How does it feel to finally just know for sure? Oh, it's a, it's a load off my chest, Your Honor. Thank you. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. That's why we're here. M Mr. Jackson, you came to court with a suit for $5,000 for emotional distress. We've determined now he is your biological child. Yes. And so the emotional distress in terms of thinking the entire time that he was not is not something I can award you damages for. With that said, your claim is dismissed. Judgment for the defendant about this family. Ultimately, you share a beautiful son. How you move on from here is going to be your decision. You have to talk about this. You have to be... You have to communicate. We have counseling and resources for you, and I wish you all the very best of luck, and I'm happy for you both. Mm, thank you. Court is adjourned. Well, I feel today totally ecstatic. I'm, I'm so happy. I, I, I knew it in my heart, but I just had to have it on paper. I feel better. I hope he gets divorced and pays for it now. He wants to be divorced so badly. He the one that lied all these years. I mean, either way it went, he was, he was gonna be my father. Like I said, biological, he was gonna be my father. If the results came out, he wasn't my father, he was still gonna be my father. He was there for me during graduation. Justice can be served. Truth can become brought to the light. And today I learned a lot just from standing in her courtroom.